YouTube doesn't know your password. Neither does Facebook or Twitter or any decent web service. Literally, your password is not stored in their database. It's safer that way. A hacker or a rogue employee can't find out what your password is. So, how do they know that you've typed the right password in when you go back to log in? Well, there are certain types of math operation that are really easy to do one way, but really difficult to reverse. Multiplying two prime numbers together is relatively easy. 17 times 11 is uh, 187. There's a shortcut I use there uh, to multiply by 11 you times by 10 and then add the original number. Now, because these two were prime, these are the only two numbers that you can multiply together to get 187. So let's ask the question the other way. What two prime numbers multiplied together get you a similar semi-prime number? Let's pick 299. Well, okay, it can't be two times something because it doesn't end in an even number. It can't be three times something because the digits don't sum to a multiple of three. It can't be five times something because it doesn't end in five or zero. Can it be seven? Well, I don't know. I'd have to work that out the long way and so many other numbers it could be. that There are a few shortcuts that computers and good mathematicians can use to make the operation a bit faster, but in summary, particularly for huge numbers, there is no efficient way to reverse that operation. It is maths that is easy to do one way and difficult to reverse. Now to you, your password is a, a string of letters or symbols or numbers, but to a computer it is the same as everything else, a string of binary digits, ones and zeros. And you can do maths on those ones and zeros, you can do those one-way operations. Not necessarily anything to do with prime numbers, although it sometimes is. That process is called hashing. And there's something called salting that makes it more complicated still, but basically what you have at the end, you type in your password when you register, ABC, you put it through a process, what you get is a random string of characters. That's what they keep in the database. And when you type your password in again to log in, they put it through the same mathematical one-way operation. If the hash that comes out matches what they have in their database, then they know what you entered was right, even though they don't know anymore what you actually typed in. And if they've done it right, you can't reverse that hash back to your password without centuries of computer time or billions of dollars. That's why Google, Facebook, Yahoo, everyone, they don't email you your password when you say you've forgotten it. They ask you to set a new one. They can't email at you. They don't know it. And for that reason, if you ever find a company that does email you your password when you say that you've forgotten it, well, run. Because they have no idea about security. If that was interesting, I've done a couple of longer videos over at Computerfile about hashing and password security. And if it wasn't, well... The stunts you're about to see were performed by train drivers on a closed course. Do not try this at home.